Hey guys, welcome back. And as you can see, I am not at home. I am currently in Charlotte, North Carolina for work this week. And I was just showering. I have about 45 minutes to get ready and I needed to shower before we went out to dinner. I'm here with two other girls from my work and we're meeting at five o'clock and it literally is like four and I was like, I need to shower and like, redo myself because we were in a warehouse today and we are sweaty and disgusting and I need a shower and I even washed my hair hey but anyways I was in the shower and I was like I'm gonna film a get ready with me video and I'm gonna film it like travel easy everyday go-to makeup because that's what I brought with me it does not take a makeup artist to do this look it is so so simple and Everything could fit in your purse. I have a little like makeup bag with me super simple So if you guys want to see how I got this very easy basic everyday makeup look just keep watching So as you can see I'm starting off with bare skin and right now I'm having some bad Just like issues. I am kind of like hormonal and breaking out and as you can see like my face right here is very just gross in my eyes, it's gross so I have come to find out that my trusty Nivea men's um, lotion, I guess you would call it, my um, like primer face lotion, it has been breaking me out. That's the only thing I've figured out what it is because I will have like no breakouts on my face. I will wear that one day and before the day is even over, like before it's time to even wash it off. I will have like bumps and it's stressful because I love that stuff. I cannot say enough good things about that lotion and it's a sensitive skin lotion. So I think right now my skin's just kind of going through a weird phase. Um, I have tons of different products that I use so I use a lot of different stuff. Right now I'm just taking my Cetaphil face lotion. It's just the moisturizing uh, lotion. This is in the travel size. Because as I mentioned, I am not at home. I am in a Marriott right now. This stuff has been great. Next, I am going to be using my awesome, awesome, awesome CC cream. It is It Cosmetics and it has an SPF of 50 in it. So it is amazing. I cannot rave about this stuff enough. It covers very, very well. So especially with all this breakout stuff going on right here, a little in my t-zone and in my eyebrow even Ugh. anyways I'm taking a little elf cosmetics brush there's no name but I'll have a link below so I'm just doing about one and a quarter pumps on here and then I just take this and dot it in the area of it and kind of tap it in Make sure you bring it down your neck. No one wants to get made fun of for having a mask face. We all know what that means. Next up, I'm just taking my Maybelline concealer and this is in the color 15, which is fair. And I bring it on my eye a little to kind of use as a primer. Okay, so that's done. Next, we want to set everything. I am just taking my Rimmel translucent powder and this is uh, very loved. You can take that same brush you were using, but I'm just taking a big fluffy brush and literally like putting it everywhere. Next up is bronzer and blush, and when I'm traveling, I always take this little guy with me. It is the e.l.f. duo, and it is in blushed and bronzed, I want to say. Again, a very loved product of mine. First, I take the bronzer. This is another little e.l.f. brush. This is the blush brush, but I use it for bronzer. Doing a little contour, but like not. And drag it up. Okay. Because I want my main focus to be right here, but then I want to like take the product down up a little. So if you don't want to do blush, you don't have to. I'm just taking the this uh, big fluffy brush. This is the complexion brush. This is what I use for the powder. Next up, we are gonna do my eyebrows. I don't bother taking my Anastasia uh, brow pencil with me, so what I use is this NYX Little Tinted Brow Mascara, and this is in the color Chocolate. 
Although I'm blonde, I like to use a little bit of a darker eye products because I personally like a darker brow. Next up is eyes, and I have already put that eye primer or con concealer on my eyes, and these are what I use like every single day. They're Ulta brand. This lighter one is called Bone, and then this like darker one is called Camel. This one I literally use every single day. Super warm, and I'm just taking a big fluffy brush. This is the Real Technique brush. I don't know the number and all that. Everything will be listed down below. But anyways, I just take it in and literally like make my eye white. Whatever that means, Chelsea. <laughs> so then I take the darker color, the camel, and I take this little brush. It is an Eco Tools brush, and I kind of, you know, dab it in all over there. And then I just put it in the crease and do windshield wiper motion. So it just basically like defines your crease a little, but not like dramatic, like, oh, I'm going out, hitting the club, hey girl, hey. If you want it to go darker, you could take this bronzer and like pop it into like the deeper corners. Like, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, now that we're done with the eyes or my eyelids, I am going to curl them. I'm taking a break for about a month or so uh, from eyelash extensions. I just let them all fall out. I curl them, and then when I'm not wearing um, eyelash extensions, these are my two mascaras that I have talked about for years and years and years. These are my favorite. The first one, they are both by L'Oreal. The first one is the Telescopic Carbon Black, and it has a very, very, very little brush. It is amazing. It gets into all the little nooks and crannies. I'm just gonna let this dry a little and then I'm gonna go in with my L'Oreal Voluminous and this is just in black as black. Currently sitting on a table in case you're wondering. Yeah, cool Chelsea. And this, this like camera is sitting on a garbage can with a makeup bag like on either side holding it up. But I got this natural light going on and it is beautiful. So I'm good. Last, uh, my favorite, favorite, favorite. Next butter glosses. This is in the color Apple Strudel. It's just a nice little like pink. All right, we're done. So that literally took me, the timer's going right now. It's took me 15 minutes. And um, it probably would have taken me 10 minutes, but I was talking to you guys. So this is a finished look and I hope you liked it. It's very easy. Thanks so much for watching guys. Don't forget if you want to subscribe down below and I will see you next time. Bye.